But first, meeting for the first time in 17 years without Russia, G7 leaders began their talks in Brussels. Geopolitical tensions between Ukraine and the ejected member of Russia has dominated discussions. Jack Barton has more from the summit. There were bare-chested demonstrators and well-orchestrated protests. But the biggest shadows cast over the start of the G7 summit were the crisis in Ukraine and the absence of Russia from the group for the first time since 1998. The crisis in Ukraine and Russia's actions are the very reason for the G7 Brussels summit instead of the originally planned G8 summit in Sochi. The leaders of the group of seven industrialized powers, better known as the G7, arrived saying they would discuss strengthening support for Ukraine as well as how to improve dialogue with Russia. That opportunity will come soon as Russian President Vladimir Putin and the leaders of France, Germany and Britain plan to hold face-to-face -face talks later this week on the sidelines of the D-Day landing commemorations in Normandy. German Chancellor Angela Merkel said they would also send a clear message. If all of this does not work out, to signal the possibility of further actions. With the EU dependent on Russian gas, energy security is also set to be a key topic at this summit, which will tackle a range of issues from boosting economic growth to conflicts in Mali and the Central African Republic and climate change. But it's events in Ukraine that will dominate these talks. Behind the scenes, officials here say they would like to see Russia rejoin the grouping at some point in the future. Though given the few raw surrounding Russia's absorption of Crimea, that process could take some time. Jack Barton, CCTV, Brussels.